A few days ago, I joined a server to complete a survival challenge. No packaged food, no fruit, no mushrooms, and no water from wells. If I didn't catch, hunt, or grow it, I'm not allowed it. So, if you're new here, I'll give you the rundown of what's happened so far. While doing this survival challenge, I set myself two goals. One, to hunt one of each animal, and two, build a base. I had a couple of unlucky lives to start, checked off a few animals from the list and got into some PvP. The cow just ran through the building, dude. After days of searching, I finally found a code lock and could start building my base. Oh my god, dude, a code lock, yes! My chosen location was a small cabin on the edge of the woods in between Krasnostav and Vishnaya Dubrovka. Before I logged off for the final night of episode 1, I went to an airdrop that had landed pretty much on my doorstep and made some enemies. You, yeah? yeah, he's down. He's dead. Yeah, you need nails. So now you're all caught up, let's find out if my cabin survived the night. Okay. First gate secure. Second gate secure. Third gate secure. First gate no code lock. Okay, so they did try and raid. Not realising. Okay, right. Well, fuck me. Luckily, I have a spare code lock, so... Let's get that on the gate. Uh, and then first thing on the agenda is gonna be... We need to go and look for building tools. We're building uh, supplies, nails, and sheet metal so that I can... I want to build up a another section at the front of the base. You're probably wondering where all these extra gates have come from. Well, before I logged off, Ramblin and myself went out on a loot run to find nails so that I could build up some extra gates, just in case the guys circling my base did decide to raid. Over the next week, my main goal was to finish building the base, claim the territory by building a flag, lock off the roof and cover it in camo nets, and build a watchtower out the front of the cabin that would act as my airlock on the outside of my base so that my front door wasn't constantly exposed. After finding my first box of nails for the day, I repaired the damage done from the attempted raid and got to work building my flag so I could finally claim the territory. Nice, we got the flag built, so that means that if someone does get through my first gate again, they can't just dismantle the walls and stuff. Uh, next on the agenda is I'm gonna go back out, carry on looking for nails and code locks so that we can build an airlock at the front of the house and then maybe have two gates inside there and get rid of one in here because it's a bit chaotic with the four gates. I still haven't seen a pig. I still need to catch a hare, hunt a pig, and catch a mackerel. They're the only three animals left on the list that I haven't either seen or tried to catch yet. So I'm gonna have to find, I'm gonna have to pick up a piece of fruit that I see, or maybe a couple, to try and catch a hare in a snare. But we can do that at the base. I can just set it up outside in the forest somewhere. 
The pig though. I ain't seen a pig. I've seen quite a few balls, but no pigs. I won't show you the endless hours of me looting sheds for nails, but I was now back at base and under the cover of darkness. I started laying the foundations of my watchtower and the fences on the roof. As morning started coming around, I had ventured north to complete a radio mission. If I was quick, I could get some valuable loot. North East Asparagina. I just marked here, but it, it's going to be somewhere over here, I think. I entered the mission zone. And the grenade went off over here. Ah, here we go. Oh! Dude, the fucking zombie went over the trip wire. No! The zombies are going over the trip wires. <laughs> There's smoke going off as well. Oh shit. Oh, this is so bad. No! No! And now it's not going to be there because of the restart. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Oh, and it's rolled me back. No. Oh, the, hang on. The fire is still going up there. Let's go and see. I see the fire still going up there. Oh, hang on. No, I see trip wires. go now we can grab this as well because i thought about maybe setting up some trip wires when i log off no it literally just disappeared as i went inside the tent no there was an svd in there no <laughs> Oh, dude, no way, man. That sucks so bad. God damn it. Well, I didn't get the loot I'd run here for, but I was about to find something even better. tent with a code lock and all you needed to raid into one was a raid saw and I just so happened to have one so I ran home grabbed the raid saw and ran back We don't need to take everything, we're just going to take what we need. 
Just a few bits. A few bits of mobs. Let's take this as well. The NBCs, dude. <gasps> dude, they've got NBC stuff. Let's grab all of that. Yoink. The AK mags. Nails! More code locks. Oh my god. Dude, what are these guys doing? Why have they not built up? I made one last trip back and then spent an unnecessary amount of time organizing all my loot into all this new storage I now had. And now with all the builder materials, I could start fortifying my base further. Okay. And then my my plan is I want to build this up. This bit of the watchtower up all the way. Block it all off. And this up a bit too. And then all on this. This is just going to stay as it is now. And just put camo nets on it. Just camo it all up. Because I'm not actually going to use up here for anything. Maybe I'll come up here if I want to scope shit out. If I'm being raided or whatever. But... All of that shit up there is just purely for, well, for the sake of it being up there, that's it. That, that's literally it. Hello? Hello? Let me let you in. While I'd been offline the night before, Ramblin' had been on and told me about a duo he encountered that were living in town out of the green moustache. We went over so I could see it for myself. No, you know how there's like two parts. There's the part where the well is, the bigger part, and then there's the smaller part. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, there's another pub over there. I see which one you mean. Let's go and check it out. Now, I didn't really think much else of it at the time, but it's worth remembering this green moustache as our story continues. Hmm. After having a small taste of victory with Raiden, I wanted more, so we made a run up to Tizzy, and a full NBC suit would be required to go in. But if we were lucky enough, we would come out of here with some of the best loot on the server. Raid driver. Another raid driver. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, holy moly. I looted the whole place from top to bottom and came out there with a couple of raid drivers, some extra guns, ammo, and storage. Oh. There we go. Yeah. You just froze in the doorway. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. The following morning, I ran up to Tizzy again. Mm. 
No. So I was back on the coast, but it wasn't all bad. I still needed to catch a mackerel to check it off my list and all my gear was stashed in a tray outside of Tizzy. So if I could make it back in time before it despawned, not all would be lost. Um, I'm going to keep this spawn. Cherno. I mean, we're still 12.1 away, but we could go through Pavlova. If we lose the gear, we lose the gear. It's not a big deal. I have more than enough. Dude, why the fuck was there someone there as I was making rags? Like, why couldn't you have come like a second before when I wasn't making rags and stuck in a fucking animation? God damn it. I just want to get some raid stuff. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. We're just going to run straight to Pavlova. We're gonna run straight to Pavlovo, loot there, and then um, just push north, go and get my stuff. I mean, while we're back by the coast actually now, we could catch that mackerel and get that ticked off the list. I feel like the pig is gonna be the hardest one to find, to be honest, you know? The pig would be the hardest one for me to find, and I would eventually figure out why. If that stuff up there despawns, it's not a big deal. I'll get it all back. The thing I'm, I'm sad about is just the NBC stuff, but it is what it is. Um, okay. Let's go and catch ourselves a mackerel. Bit of nighttime fishing, don't mind if I do. Come on, mackerel. Bingo, straight away. Mackerel off the list, finally. Finally. Okay, nice, we can move. Mackerel is checked off the list, baby. Hell yeah. Let's go Pavlovo. Has this been radiate? Oh, yeah, I think it's been hit with radiation on it. Shit. Okay, we might have to wait then. After the gas cleared, I looted Pavlovo, got my hands on the new gun and got some extra storage and made my way north back up to Tizzy. All that was left was my rifle. The rest had despawned. So I started making my way home and decided to search Novaya Petrovka for nails. And while I was having a conversation with myself about a pig, I had a genius idea. To be honest, I should probably check on eyes if I have to see where the pigs actually spawn. That would be the sensible thing to do really, wouldn't it? So then I can go and check the spawn points instead of just running around hoping that I'm gonna see you on. Let me just do that real quick. Let's have a look. I survive. Mm, pig. There we go. And where are we? We're in Novaya. Novaya Petrovka. Oh, there's loads of pig spawns in Topolniki. Okay, so we could potentially see a pig here while we're looting. So keep your ears peeled. There's a guy just gone in there. Shit. Dude, I almost ran out and ran into him. <sighs> Please don't have a friend. Let's get in this moustache real quick.
Holy moly, dude. Right. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. Not bad. Something that I've noticed, the more and more that I play, the, each time I build a new base, my inner loot goblin just seems to get worse. Um, because this, this is ridiculous, and now I even have, I've got even more stuff now. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. This gun wall, where am I going to put that? I cannot put it anywhere. I mean, I could, we can put it here. <laughs> this is disgusting. This is gross. The amount of loot that is in this, in this base is disgusting. I am ashamed of myself. I have turned into the very thing that I once used to despise, which was a hoarder, a base hoarder at that. <laughs> We've got so much loot, dude. Over the next few days, I spent most of my time trying to complete radio missions, starting off with one at Devil's Castle. There she is, it's Devil's Castle. Northeast of Devil's Castle. Northeast of Devil's Castle. It's going to be over here, isn't it? In the woods somewhere, I'd imagine. I need to be careful, really, because other people could be trying to do this. I'm hoping it's going to tell me when I'm in the zone. It usually does. Someone's doing it. Someone's down in the forest doing it. Okay, shit. There's a guy. Yeah, someone's in this building. Do you hear that footstep? Oh, it's a base. Hello? Knock, knock. I heard you. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? That made you move. <laughs> Yeah, shut the door, that's it. Because nobody can hear what you're doing in there. Also, put your shoes back on. I might not have been fast enough to the mission, but discovering this base that was hidden away in the center of Severograd is worth remembering. The next radio mission took me to VMC. I'm wondering if running down the creek is going to be the best thing here. The creek that comes from northwest. I did a little stream and come in from that way. You can't even just like dive under the fences anymore, which is annoying. There's the hill starting to render in. I hit him, I hit him once. I aimed right on him to start with and that just wasn't the one. 
I, I'm using traces as well, dude. How are you not seeing me? Hit him. Hit twice, this guy. Come on now. That's behind me. Someone's behind me with a Mosin. Dead guy? Why is there a dead guy? Wondering if getting on the rooftops is going to be the player. hit twice let's get down Need to hurry up because someone has already uh, thingied the watch him call it. The mission's already been done. Yeah, okay, well, let's get out of here, I guess I'm going to push this way. It sucks that we didn't get any of the loot from the actual capture the flag thing, because I was dealing with the zombies, which gave the, those guys the perfect opportunity to loot and leave. So, you know, didn't help that I'm also just a giant fucking potato. Again, I didn't win, but still came out with some profit. So, while I was busy working on the base, a mission came through on the radio about something that I had been looking for.
If you could kill two pigs to get some meat. Oh, <gasps> I need to go and do this. I need the pigs. I need that. I need the pigs, dude. Wherever this is on the map, we're going. Man, the camp said he would save position in the forest to collect the meat. I left a hunting bag at the picnic table on the hiking trail. Tell me where. I'm coming. Zub Castle. Of all the things the radio mission could have been about, it was about pigs. The very animal I'd been spending an unnecessary amount of time looking for. Could this explain why I hadn't seen a single pig after running laps of the map checking all the pig spawns? I'm not gonna make it. I don't know where you get I don't know where you're getting the pig steaks from, dude. It just says get it says bring 14 pig steaks. In the hunter bag from the picnic table to Zub Castle. But I don't know where you're supposed to be getting the pig steaks from. I think someone might already be doing it, which is why it's only saying that bit. So I'm hoping that if I just run straight to Zub Castle, we can either catch whoever's there and kill them. Or, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's gonna... Maybe something will pop up. I don't know. I'm a bit confused. To be honest, I wasn't really paying attention while I was building. So it is entirely possible that I've just missed all the other messages about the radio mission. No, they've just completed it and I'm two away. No! I am not having any luck recently with these missions. Holy moly. I either go to them and get into PvP and miss whatever's actually going on with the mission that's the bench where it would have been the next few days after that were spent chasing more radio missions and the occasional airdrop Is there like a server restart going or something? Oh, there's two. There's two of them because one has just killed a chicken. Camo net. Yoink. Okay, nice. Uh, let me just reload real quick. There's an airdrop going to Novo. Holy moly. The Viker, dude. <whistles> Is 
This is already going to be looted. I was too far away, to be honest. If it's not looted, I'll be very surprised. I feel like it's already going to be there. Someone will have been in and out. Quick shot. I've also not heard any gunshots. Never mind. Someone just shot suppressed down here. I kind of want to find him, you know. Let me drop my bag here. My mag's on the floor. No! Oh, fuck's sake. I'm gonna have to push away because I'm starving now. I'm pretty sure this house down here is like a... I think it's like a little... Um, I don't know if it's a watermelon house or if it's like one of the little... Like the little granny houses. It's got like the red stove on the side that's got like 5,000 windows. But I'm just gonna have to make do because desperate times call for desperate measures, you know what I mean? Even if I just cook a few to get me out of the red, and then we move. So I had to abandon the airdrop to stop myself from starving to death. Even though it might not seem like it, I was still in fact doing the survival challenge. I hadn't eaten anything I hadn't caught or hunted myself, and I hadn't drank from any of the wells. While water had been my biggest issue, I always seemed to end up being starving at the most inconvenient times. Anyway, I headed home after cooking up these mutton steaks to go place a snare trap to try and catch myself a hare. Oh, there is another one in this field here. And there's another one here, here, and up here. I think I'm gonna go and place my snare trap over here. It's kind of like in this kink in the road. That's what my eyes have I've seen anyway. Um, I've got one rotten apple that I found that I had picked up a while ago for this that I forgot about. Because I feel also forgot to look for one while I was out before. And then, so once I've placed that, I'm then just going to go and do some upgrades on the base. I'm going to block off all of the watchtower, or as much of it as I can. And then I'm going to also move all the camo nets off the watchtower. Um, and onto the roof, so then that's all covered up. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that on my doorstep, but here we are. Right, my snare trap I'm gonna place... I'm gonna do it like right here. There we go. Right, let me just move my marker. And now we can just forget about it for a little bit and hope that we catch something. Right, let's go and bury this guy's body. Oh, you can check cause of death, let me see. A gunshot wound. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. Nothing happened here, nothing to see.
Nice. Hell yeah. We're pretty much finished. The base is, is done. Now the base was finished, all I had to do was check off the last two animals on the list, which was the hare and the mysterious pig. So I went to check on my snare trap, but I was never going to catch a hare with a rotten piece of fruit. So I went and found some fresh fruit and finally caught myself a hare. There's a base in here. <gasps> An apple. Nice. Let me see if I can just get a couple more just in case. Oh! <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay, we got what we came for. Let's run back and put these on the snare. <gasps> let's get rid of that. Right, let's try this. Lovely. Okay. Oh, yes, we caught a hare. Oh, nice, dude. Finally, all I had to do now was find a pig. Yes, we can finally take the hare off the list. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Hell yeah. It's only taken me two weeks to catch that. <laughs> we just need to get a pig now, but honestly, I'm just writing the pig off at this point. My main objective for the past week was complete finished building the base and I had done just that. The roof was covered in camo nets and the watchtower was built up. Alongside everything else, I had also been collecting raid supplies so the rest of my day was dedicated to finding more raid tools and supplies so that I could stock up enough and finish this adventure with a bang. I had one main target in mind but as you'll soon see, one just wasn't enough.